my last video I scraped the popcorn off the ceiling. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some of the prep work that I have to do before I go ahead and skip trial the ceiling. There's a lot of loose corners in there where the tape joints have come loose. Uh, a lot of the cause of that is because the ceiling is loose. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and just take a razor blade and just trim it right along the edge. I don't want to pull it down because if I did that, it's going to pull the wall down. Uh, the, the tape joint goes the same distance on the ceiling down the wall, and I do not want to mess with that. Cutting out some of this loose tape and stuff. This piece I'm just going to pull out. It's no good. It's ripped in the middle anyway. This tape's not even sticking to the wall. I don't trust any of these edging tapes because enough of it's loose to make me skeptical and I don't want to skip trial the seal and have to come back and mess with it. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut all the way around and just take this piece off. I'm just going around all the edges with a quick scrape just to because sometimes there's a little bit more popcorn left over after pulling that paper off. Just a real quick once around. I'm going to go ahead and fill this crack with some caulk all the way around. Some places the crack was too big at the corner, like this one here, it's about a quarter inch. And plus that it's gone down the wall here where I had to peel the piece of tape off. So it gives me a good spot to use some of this screen. I like the self-sticking screen. And you just pull off a piece a little bit bigger than you need. Stick it up there in the corner. Just kind of push it in with your fingers. It's self-sticking so it's ready to be mudded. This crack across the ceiling, I'm going to use the same thing, this screen. Put a piece across there. This time because it's, a, it's like a small area, I'm going to cut it a little bit short. That way I can come at it from both directions. And I won't have to worry about a bunch of extra stuff at the end. And this end here, I'm just going to need about a Three or four inch piece, I can overlap it a couple inches, it doesn't matter. Alright, now I'll go find a couple other spots. Now this spot, I can't go down the wall, the wall's in good shape here. But it's still a, a good sized crack. So I'm going to butt joint the screen up against this. Just going to come straight out as close as I can without actually bending it. About a five, six inch piece. And I'm just going to butt it right up to the wall. On both sides. And it's going to go up there. There's still going to be a little bit of a crack there, but I can come back and caulk it after I put it up there. I'm going to put two pieces because I just want to. 
And this piece, uh, it's just a little edge here that they had taped. The tape was loose. I pulled it out. I could probably get away without doing anything other than maybe a little more mud, but uh, the screen is relatively cheap. I'm here. It's a better job, so I might as well just go ahead and do it. It's about an eight or nine inch piece. I can make it a little bit long. It doesn't really matter. And I'm just filling in this spot. Now, if I want to cut it for any reason, like the actual seam is over here, I can just lay it and peel it off like that. This is a nice sharp edge. A lot of new ones don't work like that, but once they've been used a few times, they do. One little spot here looks a little bit weird. See the tape, so I'm just going to use a little piece of tape screen right here, just a little extra insurance. Now here's a hole here where they actually moved the wire from here where the light used to be over to where the light is now. There was a metal plate in there that came out when I scraped it. It just goes up like this, covers the hole. And I'm going to put this up with some wet mud. I'm going to mix some mud up, stick it in, stick this in the mud. And then I'll probably use a little bit of screen on this, only because sometimes if this paper, when you put the mud across it, it causes the layers of mud of the paper, it's built up of many layers, to just kind of peel back and bubble. Um, usually, if I have the time, I prime it, let it dry, and then patch it. But if I use the screen on it, that usually takes care of it so I don't have any problems. I'm going to mix up some 20-minute mud. I usually have a little scoop, but for some reason I, I don't have it in this row now. Anyway, you put some of this powder in here. And if I weren't in a hurry, I would just use regular mud, but since I'm in a hurry. And put the lid on so I don't get any water in it. Put a little water in this and stir it up. It's like a thick icing on a cake, about the same consistency. And I put a little bit of mud around it. That's to hold the metal plate. Some of them come with self-adhesive, and it, this one probably was like that. But because I'm reusing the one that was up here before, it, um, there's little holes all around the edges of it. You let that mud squeeze through there. And grab some screen. little pieces, you know, 10, 12 inches long. Now I don't really need to use the screen with this. I'm just using it because of this uh, paper that was loose. Now I'll put a layer over the whole thing. I'm kind of pressing it so that I can squeeze the mud through all the holes. And this is going to need another coat later on. Spot in the corner. They make a little corner trough for this. I have it, but it's in my truck. And uh, so I have to do it without it.
Now I'm going to go around and look for places where it's obvious where the tape used to be. There's a little ridge here, and I don't want a lot of that. So I'm just going to go around and just lightly feather over it. Now the cock is still wet in the corner, so I don't really want to go all the way to the corner. I'll just make a bigger mess. Just like that. Kind of look for spots. There's a spot right here. Pretty much everywhere I pull the tape, there might be something that I might need to put a little coat on. So I'm going to go around and look for all of them. I like to use a little wider trap on my second or third coats. 